Hello and welcome back to the Weekend Grill. Spring is in the air. We're hoping for better weather. Unfortunately, we're not going to probably get it, but finals are upon us. And we're here joined by Paul Italiano to discuss everything finals. How are you, buddy? Good, mate. First, fresh... time, first time we've been in finals, mate. I know. For a while. I know. And you got a fresh fade for it? I actually got the haircut specifically for That's the finals. There'll be a lot of right. fresh fades running around Thursday, Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> the MCG. Hey, how have you been? Did you enjoy enjoy the, uh, the 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 week off? Uh, yes or no? It's been good to refresh, but I, there was a couple times, especially yesterday, you sort of itching for this, you know, some some content, yeah. um, which we haven't got. So I think it's good for the clubs, for the fans. I think everyone's itching to get into it. So yeah. well, um, we're gonna go through what happened last week, which was the All Australian team got finally announced. Mm. So we're gonna review that. Uh, in short, really, um, we're going to also preview all the finals games. So, uh, first week of the finals on Thursday, obviously, first qualifying final, we have your Collingwood Magpies up against Melbourne. Big game. Um, a massive game, sold out within five minutes, huge. And then we're going to move on to the Friday game, obviously, Carlton v Sydney, first elimination mm-hmm. final, do or die for both. Just and, sold out, too? I think, yeah, it, I think it was. It will be. Depends on what, you know, MCC members, if they decide to rock up. Yeah, well. So yeah. I suppose Melbourne's not playing on no. Friday night, so they probably won't Depends rock up. Traffic there is at the snow. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we're going to head on to Saturday game, uh, St Kilda versus GWS, which, in my opinion, is the most intriguing game of the weekend. Just just my opinion only. But it's a very hard game to assess, and that's the second elimination mm. final. And then the Saturday night final where we've got um, second v third, uh, which is Brisbane and Port Adelaide up at the Gabba, which um, probably a little bit more clear cut uh, than is the it? other three games. Yeah, well. Oh, I've got some good feedback on you for that game. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can't wait to discuss that. Yes. But look, Paul, let's get stuck into it. So just before we head into those previews, uh, we're going to reflect on the All-Australian All Australian. team, yep. which we'll put up on the screen now for you. Um, so obviously you can see there Sicily, Wilkie, Stewart, round, and Sinclair, Moore, and Houston round out the the defence. Um, Jeez, we suppose, only got oh, do two, you remember? Yeah, two right. I think we only got out of that yeah. back six. We we had Darcy. No, we had three. We had Darcy, Moore, Sicily, and Sinclair in there. Yep. I I, I reckon just quietly. I don't know why Tom Stewart was there. I I was surprised by that one. W- Wilkie is a full back. Yeah, I sort I, of I get it. I can pass it. I can pass it. I'm happy. Yeah. I mean, I, th- I think there were a few that, that that was stiff. So we had Sam Taylor on the bench in ours, but what happened was you had to qual- you had to play 16 games to qualify, he qualify. Yep. and he, he was a late withdrawal in round 24 against Carlton. Um, Houston, I can I can pass there. That's fair enough. Uh, but he, he had yeah. a good year, Houston. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. And then obviously we go through the midfield. I, I think we got this pretty spot we, on. We nailed it. Yeah. yeah very, like we were pretty dead on here. I mean, look, we didn't have – we didn't have Petrarca there on the half forward line, which you, which you can see. Uh, but Golden, Bontempelli, Dacos, and then your followers, uh, Tim English, Butters, and, and we nailed the um, captain too, Toby Green. Yeah, I think it was only down to like two or three. Of I them, think I it? think it was only the defenders. There was, I don't think many people would have picked Stewart, Houston, and Wilkie. I, I I didn't have Zach Merritt in my team. I didn't have Caleb Sarong, or we didn't have. Sorry, yep, I, I, we didn't have uh, Sarong. And Merritt in our team, and neither, and nor did we have Nick Nick Larky. The reason why we didn't have Nick Larky well, is he's be, a third tall. He's a third tall, and what they're gonna? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that they didn't put him like. I'm glad that they didn't put him like Ford Pocket. Charlie Kerno last year, who won the Coleman, and they put him in in, in, in the Ford Pocket. Yeah, who was full like, fold? Uh, Hawkins. Uh, Hawkins and Cameron yeah. were were your yeah. spine. Yeah, so yeah, look, Rosie kicked. deserves it. Rosie, when we were speaking about it a fortnight ago in our team, Rosie probably was the one that I thought was a little bit stiff. I mean, there's going to be a lot of not heartbreak there's, stories here, but there's look, there's a few that are up. up there's up for 44 discussion. good players. I think no yeah. one argues with the squad of 44. They usually get that Spot right. On. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you, you can't fit 44 into 22, 22, unfortunately. That's right. So <laughs> yeah, I Anyone? think a lot of people get surprised by interstate players. Like Sarong had a really good year. He yeah, was good. Yeah, no, no. I mean, he was I, good. It went, upon um, looking back at the team. Uh, he did. He and I uh, reckon a lot 30. of thirty point seven disposals. Yeah. The average. I know it's not a clear disposal sort of. It's not all defined by well, that. But his 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 impact on Fremantle games were huge. Yeah, it was so, good. and the yeah. things with Wilkie, like a lot of Saints supporters will say yeah, he's a shoe in. It it depends how much footy you watch, really. No, but the, the question, Paul, the question you have to ask is: Did they did they select intercept defenders or key one on one defenders? Because if it was one on one, if it was one on one defenders, Sam Taylor and Jacob Wittering are ahead of him. 
But w- Wilkie is hard to get a kick on. So, I mean, look, it's... I'm I not- think they've gone with a mixture of intercept yeah. and, you know, one-on-one defenders. But I think Wilkie's been a good interceptor too. Look, I, as I said, my, the only thing I question, the only one I question in that team um, is Zach Merritt on the bench. And I love Zach Merritt. I, I've, I've been big on him the whole year. I even backed him for the Brownlow medal, which went out the window when he got, <laughs> when he got suspended against Melbourne. All oh, right, but, but who, who would you put Merritt, in for Zach, Zach Merritt? Zach Merritt and Tom. Mate, there's a handful of midfielders you, you actually could oh, put so in. Which one, though? I want to know which one you'd put in. Oh, I don't remember the score off the top of my head, but. Um, I don't think he was there. Like, I mean, honestly, if they're going to put Zach, I would have had du- 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 Dustin Martin on the bench ahead of him. Yeah, okay. I'll pass that. Yeah, yeah. I agree. You, yeah. yeah. Dusty had a good G. I'm surprised yeah. he didn't get in. Yeah. I can understand the Taranto not sort of made. I don't even know he made the squad, but he the sort butcher. of faded away. But Dusty, Dusty's probably the, the one that sort of got away. I mean, you could even make a case for Luke, Luke Bruce, who we also missed when we did our squad. He was one that we sort of we overlooked, mm. but yeah, as I said, like Tom Stewart has had a good year, but he, he not not my pick for the, for the back pocket. And I, boy, I thought Quainall was stiff, is what I'm trying to say. I, I thought he had a good I, 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 Yeah, I mean, whatever. Is he? He's a good one on one defender. Yep, he's a good interceptor. He's not yep. an elite, he's not elite, but and he's a good one on one. Yeah, and congrats as well, obviously yeah. to. Toby Green winning uh the or getting being named as the captain. Congratulations to uh Harry Sheasel, the uh, uh rising, rising star. star, Marcus Bontempelli won the Would, MVP. I've got a question for you. Would you take out Cameron for our boy, Langford? No. No? No. Okay. Charlie Cameron. Charlie Cameron, yeah. No. No. Oh. Full length for that good year. I thought he did. Here's another one. I thought he was stiff as well. Yeah, I like, thought he was stiff. I, like, I, mean, I, I would have even taken Larky out for Langford. Yeah. Because you can't play a third tall. There's no second ruck either. But I don't know if they actually yeah. choose. Do they choose a squad it's, it's hard to, to play say. a game or they just choose a squad? Yeah, we, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, because I look at that team and I'm like, there's only one ruckman. There's no there's no two ruckman. Tex yeah. and Kuno aren't playing second ruck. So, no, no, no. You know, no maybe Larky is. Maybe Larky's a ruckman. Who knows? Look, that's um, that was uh, the week that that was null and void. The uh, the the bye week. We've had the awards now. I reckon we should move on to the real stuff, which starts on Thursday night. Mm. Um, and now we're gonna have the Collingwood Football Club. We finished in first, and uh, versus Melbourne. So you'll see there uh, the fellas on screen will see that Collingwood. I mean, Collingwood a dollar eighty. Melbourne two dollars oh five, depends on who you bet with. But look, well, according first, to the first radio, v, first v fourth here Thursday night twenty past seven sold out. Let's go, Paul. According to the radio, Melbourne should be a dollar twenty. Everyone's just back Melbourne. Melbourne's in form. Melbourne this. Melbourne that. So, <sighs> where's oh, the game oh, going to be won and lost here? Because I think there's a lot to take out of that. Right. That, that, that King's birthday clash. There's, there's actually a, a lot to take out of it. The game, the game is one he lost on Collingwood's defensive setup yep. and pressure. If Collingwood defend well, they'll win. That's the only thing that's let him down the last five weeks has been their defense, defensive system, defensive pressure, creating turnovers. Like everyone says, oh, Collingwood, they sc- like they're number one scoring from their back half. But in the last five weeks, they haven't been creating turnovers. And then you see that, you see that turnover. And then you see that overlap with Markov or Quain or Maynard or Noble with that overlap run through through the center. But it all comes from turnovers. So it's going to be if Collingwood's defense holds up, they'll win because Melbourne can't kick a score. I've said this week long, long in, time. week out. I've said it since I think I'd said at Queen's birthday, even though Collingwood lost, they don't, they don't kick a score. Now with Melksham out, he's, mm. he's, he's well, a big let's, out. Let's do the formalities. So Nick Dacos has officially <laughs> been ruled, ruled out. Ruled out. Collingwood yep. are expect, which we'll find out possibly later today with selection or tomorrow potentially. Uh, expecting Darcy Moore to play, expecting Nathan Murphy to play. Moore's playing it. Um, Moore was Melbourne, ready last week. Melbourne, obviously. Well, I think it's clear with what's happened, which we haven't touched on about, which is the Brody Grundy doing his his little interview with other clubs, which tells me Bro- Brody Bro- Brody Grundy's cast. I think he's he's resorted to the fact he's not going to play. He's another, not playing. He's not going to play another. Which um, which we did discuss. And he's not come back in that not. team unless Gorn um, goes down. Yeah. He's not playing. He will not be playing as a forward. So that that raises the question. Um, 
of Tom McDonald being able to come back into that Melbourne forward line. That Melbourne forward line is very dynamic. I know they don't have uh, a specific tall, if you want to put it in that way, but Melksham was huge filling that sort of void. Bailey Frisch, like he, he played against Sydney. Well, he, didn't, he didn't look like he actually missed a beat. Melksham can nullify a defender, so he can play that defensive role, yep. and then he can hit you on the scoreboard out the yeah. back too. He's he's a big out. He's he's won him a couple of games. Like he won him that Brisbane game. That I think Friday he's a massive night. out. Um, oh, he, pl- he plays hard as well, and you just know you're going to get a contest if he's on you. So, so the question is going to be: Is Bailey Fritch going to be fit? Now, you and I both know that if we want to go to a reliable source, the Melbourne Football Club, in terms of handing out information, is not the most reliable source. Um, they're going to tell us different things. We're going to find out, obviously, uh, on game day. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that Bailey Fritch does not play. Ooh. Oh, I don't know that. I'm, I'm I reckon he plays. I, I I don't think he does. He was training yesterday. He looks so what? Nick Dacos was training on Sunday. Yeah, but I reckon he plays. I reckon he plays. Yeah, okay. They'll so, roll the dice with him. So what, now, what do we know? Okay. Anyways? Yeah, well, we don't know nothing, obviously. Um, so if he does play, they uh, Melbourne exposed Darcy Moore in that King's birthday clash where Bailey Fritch just got a hold of him. Yep. Do, do you see a slightly different scenario here where where Darcy Moore may not play in him? Because I, I know you're probably going to mention a name like, say, Jeremy Howe, but I think Jeremy Howe is going to be, be it might, should be used as a a lot a, a defensive forward. He's going to play forward. For, to counteract the lever. lever. And Ma- yeah. yeah. I he reckon he goes to. to lever. I think he has to. I, th- yeah. I I believe, honestly, I don't think Melbourne's forward line, it's no disrespect to their forward line, but the facts of the matter are, as you said, they don't often kick a winning score. They don't have a lot of tools. So Collingwood could use, with the addition of Nathan Murphy, come back into the team. I, I just reckon Jeremy Howe might be best used I to, agree. To, go, to go up forward. And he's not going to be there. He's just going to be making one of their defenders accountable. One of those you'd, defenders, I think, will be Jake Lever. If he can, if well, he can negate Jake Lever out of the game, you'd think uh, Murphy would go to Van Ruin. Yep. More. That's a good, very good matchup. Yep. More will go to Fritch. Yep. And then the rest are Smalls, which Collingwood will have. You know, Markov, Maynard, Noble. Well, if Tom McDonald, Plainall. if Tom McDonald comes back into the team, right? Yep. I think they'll put Maynard on Fritch. Yep. Okay. Interesting. Well, if Tom McDonald comes to the team, which I which I, I think he will. This is yep. obviously this is factoring in that Fritch and McDonald both play. Right. Well, you, you got Fritch, McDonald, Van Ruin. Yeah. So they may play more back. So Nathan uh, Murphy. Sorry. Nathan Murphy and, and Van Ruin, they they yep. cancel each other out. That's yep. that's probably the most logical matchup. Yep. I think if Tom McDonald does play, he's gonna be he's gonna do what Jeremy Howe's gonna do to Jake Lever. So Tom McDonald will try and get to Darcy Moore. Yep. To sort of drag him back and Play that dangerous sort of – basically, he, yeah. he might try and drag Darcy Moore out of the 50, very much similar to what a few teams have done to Darcy Moore. Now, it's up to Collingwood and their defensive structure and their communication to go, look, if Darcy Moore is trying to work, go, look, I'm gonna I'm getting dragged out here. I don't want to go there. But he, it's up to them to communicate. If they, if they, get, lost in, if they he, get lost in the switch, though, yeah. that's, I think, going to be concerning. But he, he can defend one-on-one. The thing is – the way he sets himself up, he relies on pressure around the footy with a rush kick forward, and he reads the ball well. So he, the way Collingwood system works is their defense. They'll give you they'll give you a meter, two meters as a forward, because mm. they're relying on their mids and their forwards to put hectic, crazy pressure around the footy. Yep. and it gets bombarded forward, and they're there to intercept. The last couple of weeks. You can see what McCray's saying. Our defensive system's not there, so we're getting found out out the back, right? Because there's no there's no pressure around the footy. We're just getting well when there's through. no when there's no pressure on the opposition ball carrier. Your defense is always going to be made to be made to look very vulnerable. It, it you, is you, you, your, it your is. mids need to pre- it's, it's any team. It your midfielders is, yeah. need to be pressuring the opposition yeah, and that, ball that carrier. Doesn't happen. Yeah. That doesn't happen. And that's why that's why people are riding the pot. You know, a few few people are riding yeah. Melbourne red hot. I mean, I do agree with them that Melbourne are red hot. Uh, if we just want to also just quickly go back to that King's birthday clash, it was very evident that Melbourne tried to block off the corridor and did successfully block they blocked off the corridor, blocked the corridor Collingwood Collingwood wide, Collingwood. So, kick it down the line. So now that, do that now that Melbourne have shown their hand in doing that, like how does McRae 
and he's calling on team. Melbourne, uh, Brisbane did it that Friday night at the G really well. They they just refused to kick the footy down the line. They would just keep was, peppering. There was there was an instance where Brisbane kicked the ball four times from um, the right pocket to the left pocket. They kept switching until they get something down the, the line. Yeah, okay. opening. And that's the way you beat Melbourne. You don't kick it to their assets in Lever May gone. So in terms of if it does rain as they're as they're predicting, yep. uh, it's probably not going to be. It's probably going to be a very territorial game. So we're talking about this kicking mm. down the line. That may be the only option. If it's a more ter- yep. if it's greasy conditions, it's probably going to be a very contested and a stoppage based type of game. Yep, correct. So do you see that benefiting the Pies? I do because Melbourne's midfielders are bulls. I know they're bulls. So oh, they weren't. That, they're very. They're a you played very them in the West. Carlton team. played Melbourne in the wet. Yep. I didn't think they were that good. But, yeah. Okay. But, Carl, but Carl, stop, Carl, Carlton's uh, midfield's the best in the comp. Yeah, I get it. You're a good stoppage team. Yeah. But I think in the wet, Lever and May are not as dangerous. Okay. Because it's well, it's obviously a harder ball to mark. Yep. Um, I I have a feeling that your smalls or your Collingwood smalls are going to have a massive part to play. Correct. I, yeah. Hill, I believe that McCreary, McCreary, your Ginnivans of the world, your Bobby Hills, mm-hmm. these guys, I think, are going to be the ones that separate the game. If if you're if Collingwood Smalls get on top of Melbourne's defenders, mm. uh, I think that's where the game is going to be won and lost because I think both midfields are very very similar. Um, yeah. The way the way that both midfields can spread. From from the from the stoppage, I think is very similar. I reckon we, Collingwood has a deeper midfield, but I think Melbourne has a I'd, higher quality top two or three midfielders. Yeah, so besides yeah. Viney, Petrarca. Yeah. But the rotations they put, they put that that Neil that Neil Bullen through there. They can put Cozzy Pickett through yeah. there. Yeah. I well, think they're a bit more good. I think they're a bit more dynamic than yeah, what okay. Collingwood are. Yeah. We, we, you, I agree. Your 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 rotations are gonna be what, Tom Mitchell who can't run fast. Right. <laughs> well, no, game, no, no. Game suits him. Pendlebury, Pendlebury. No, no. I'm not knocking him. Pendlebury, Pendlebury is probably is going to rotate through there. Yep, yep. Josh Dacos might rotate through there. Adams. Um, Taylor Adams can't Degoe. go a yard. Degoe is probably the is the one that is probably going to set the game. He, he looks primed. Yeah. He, he's okay. my. If I'm going to pick one player, yep. he what he showed in the last round, he looks ready to go, and he's he's a proven big game player. Yeah. Okay. He, he, the qualifying final against Geelong. Yeah, he was big. Obviously, the twenty eighteen grand final, grand final was big. Kick yeah, four. he was. Um, Didn't win that set, one. This is set for him. It's yeah, set for him. It's a. It's a. It, this, th- those conditions are probably going to be set for the bigger body. So your Christian Petrarca's. So Christian pa- Petrarca on the Melbourne side of the fence. I think he's the one. Yeah, he's he the is, obvious he one. He he, he genuinely him and Max Gorn are the two obvious ones. Yeah, I think Collingwood. Was, I know the last time we played them, I think we're. Collingwood's a little bit more well equipped this time around with McStay will play. Yeah, so he's another big body to Massive play on. Four outs that you guys had in that King's yeah. birthday clash. Who was that? Dugowie, uh, was it Dugowie out? Yep. Dugowie, Elliot, Cyborg. Dugowie was suspended. Yeah. Yeah. May. Uh, May. McStay. Yep. So it was McStay. Elliot, side bottom, Dugowie. Ginevan didn't play. I know he's not. Well, he's in, been in. He was available. Yeah, but he, he was. That he, that he correct. Select him. Yep. So. Uh, yeah. Who do you think is going to win? I mean, I know you, you're probably going to be inclined to say Collingwood. Yeah, no. Colling- do, I, th- I still think you- Collingwood win. Yep. Me personally, and I've said I've said this for weeks. I think once Collingwood, once Collingwood secure a top spot, mm-hmm. for me, you can see the performances just dropped off. The hunger. I don't think they found they were found out. I think just that, correct. I think Mc- they've just said, listen, we've got it. We've got top two sewn up. Yeah. Let's prepare or let's. Let's preserve ourselves for finals. Let's, mm. and he says it a lot. It's risk reward. Why, why risk injuries in the last three, four games of the year when we've got top two sewn up? And you saw, you saw him rest players, you know, more Murphy, Dugowie, Hill. They've all been well rested. Yeah. So. Well, this, this, I mean, look, I'm, I, I believe Melbourne are walking in, into a trap. Ooh, so you know, you know, like in World War Two and like yeah, World yeah, War yeah, Three, yeah. how like countries analogy. countries used to use, set traps. Yeah, that's yeah. what Melbourne are walking into. Really? Yeah. So Collingwood, like um, Vietnam War, mate. Collingwood Max units on Friday night. So really, to all our Collingwood brothers <laughs> and sisters <laughs> out there. And what's your reasoning? Ma- makes I what, have my no, reason. In terms of your trap, what do you? What? Why? I think Melbourne. Um, I just think Melbourne are rocking up there. I have my reasons. 
Yeah. Uh, which I'm not willing to. Yeah, yeah I know. I know <laughs> you got you your know, reason. Know. Otherwise, people are going to think I'm stupid. No, and crazy. I, know, I know what you mean. No, right, in all so seriousness, you... um, Melbourne are walking into a trap. Okay. Uh, I would be having maximum units, max bet on Collingwood if you were gambling. So. That means like sell all your One Direction CDs, sell all your Justin Bieber CDs, mm. bet beyond your means. You really no, that bullish on I'm, no, I'm joking. Always gamble responsibly if you are if you do choose to gamble. Um, You're bullish on the pie. Very bullish on Collingwood. If Collingwood do not win this game, I'll chuck the computer into the river. Really, Collingwood will win in the game. Even and I don't, I don't know. I don't know with or without Dacos, rain, hail, shine. Collingwood will be winning the game. You'll be here next week, not giving a shit because you're worried about preliminary final tickets. I, I hope it. I, I hope it rains. I, Melbourne's losses this year. Have all I think, I went back. I'm sick in the head. I looked through all their losses this year. They've all you're lost doing in your, the, due, your your uh, due diligence. Yeah, well, they've lost That's in the great. rain a lot this year. Like they lost to you guys in the rain. Yep. GW, Port Adelaide. Port Adelaide in the rain. Yep. And GWS in the rain. Mm. They lost. Fremantle. Remember when they lost? Remember when Fremantle Rolt turned yeah, them over? Yeah, I don't think it was a wet day. day. No, no, it was an overcast okay. day, but it wasn't wet. That Saturday afternoon so game lost, where Bucks was in the yeah. In the well, Fremantle, how many yeah. games they lost? I think they lost six games for the year. Yep, and three of those were in the wet. So take what you can take out of it. Collingwood but, are winning the game. I just think Collingwood are a lot more set up. I have other reasons too, but Collingwood, on a, on a basic note or in short, I think Collingwood are a lot more primed. For this type of I setup, think, I think they are with or without Dacos. Uh, they get a freshened Nathan Murphy. They get a freshened Darcy Moore. Among Degoe's, other things, Degoe Degoe at Degoe into their midfield. That extra those score involvements yep. are huge. Yep. Um, and Hills are big yeah. in too. I Max, know he doesn't get Max, much of Max the footy. Max the pies, mate. I know. I know the Collingwood faithful. Are not gonna. <laughs> uh, hey, if I don't see you front row going spasty. Front row, mate. You're, Look out for me. I'm on the rails, rails mate. <laughs> I'll kiss Bobby Hill on the fair. If I don't see you going feral like a normal Collingwood supporter, I'm, I'm going to be so disappointed. I'm just going to try and do something so those cameras pan around to me, mate. I don't know if I take my top off or what it is. <laughs> <laughs> mate, you, you're going to need a raincoat, coat, mate. mate. I'll have to do something. So uh, look out for me. But yeah, Collingwood for you. Pies for yep, me. Yep. Pies for me too. Max bet. Um, let's move on to Friday night. Ooh, so big game. Friday, 8th of September. Uh, Carlton versus Sydney Swans, fifth, fifth v eight. Uh, you'll see there on the screen, dollar forty nine. This is as of Tuesday morning. Carlton Sydney, two dollars sixty three. Um, I think the betting might even up a little bit here. I think this game's a lot closer than what the betting would would what? appear to be. I'm more so, concerned about mm. the not concerned. I'm not concerned. Sorry, I'm, I'm right. Use the right word. More intrigued with. The Carlton team selection. Yeah, so this is it's a very good discussion point. So, can you enlighten me? No, I mean I, I got no idea because I don't know anyone at Carlton. Uh, I'm not that that connected. But um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what they do with the Ruckman. Michael Voss was asked last night on AFL 360 if he was going to go with Pitonet in the Ruck to play the two Ruckman because to be fair, Harry last week he can't Ruck. He he probably showed. That he's probably not he he can do the minutes, but I'm not sure if they want to go too top top heavy. All I know is what I what I what I do know is is that they probably will they're obviously going to select a team that they think is best that can match it across the ground. Um what I did see in round twenty four was what against GWS, this is Carlton speaking, um, was what Craig McRae was alluding to about three or four weeks ago, where the mindset of the game, it's the game's played a lot in the head. And I saw I saw a Carlton team that probably had their priorities elsewhere. This is just hundred and fifty percent. It's just an opinion. Um am think, I concerned? Think about I'm, this. I'm not. Think about this. You've been through as a Carlton fan, right? And and Carlton players. You haven't played finals in how long? Ten years. Ten years, right? To the exact date. You've got a home final sewn up. Yep. Right? I'm coming out the last round in a dead rubber. I ain't fucking put my body on the line. Yeah. So some will say that's not the right attitude to have. Well, which listen. which there's an argument for and against it. Um, and then you get injured, and then they say how stupid you are because you you went you know yeah. you should have had other priorities. So Carlton Carlton is sort of, you know did have a couple of injuries to come out of uh, that particular game. Fisher looked a bit sore. I'm not sure if it was that concussion or well now it's not a concussion it's because not. he played on and unfortunately Toby Bedford got 
suspension. Oh, I, I mean, he's, they're going to appeal. But Blake, Blake Akers has been cleared of any bone damage. He he he's a big watch as to I don't if think he plays. He plays. I don't think he I plays. don't think he's going to play. It's been very quiet last couple since the injury. Well, I think Voss Carl said something last night yeah. about him. I wasn't that, aware he hasn't of that. any contact work yet. Nah, okay. That probably means he's, he's probably a miss. And, I don't think he's, and he's, think he's a miss. He's a big out for he 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 gets a lot of the ball. He he's integral. He can yeah, run, he, but he, he can play as a seventh forward or a seventh defender. He, he covers the ground. Well. He covers the ground really well. He's a big body. He he wins the ball. Look, Questions he, on his he, ball use or yeah, his you know his decision but, making. Yeah, but he does. I think his decision making is a lot. There's a difference between his decision making and his ball use. His decision making for me is up there. His ball use may need slight improvement. Yeah, okay. but I'm happy to let him yep. get away with that with the amount of times that he gets and the amount of opportunities he creates. Yep. and the amount of other of his teammates that yep. he brings into the game. You know, he's he's not there to kick at hundred. He's there to give the handball off to your yep. Terrors and to your Walshers. So he gets in the right spots. He, he does. He, gets into, he does get. So no, if, if, he, if he does miss, he's going to be a bit of a loss. Um, first things first, Cripps and Doherty and Jesse Motlop, all three come back in. Yeah. So Patrick Cripps, uh, Sam Doherty, Jesse Motlop, all three in. Um, Cripps three, has got a big injury. He, he's he's got an issue with his ribs. Well, that's 100%. why he had the rest. Yeah. Well, he still does. He, he does. Oh, he's you're got, asking or you're telling? Wow, well, well, a bit of both. I don't know if you no, know. No, you're, you're you're telling he, the story. I've got no idea. He has to have a cracked rib or something. He's, yeah. he's going to play with padding. Yep. Um, and I think Voss was saying last night. Yeah, they asked him, did the week help him? He yep. said it, it, it did help him. Right. Obviously, he has not. He didn't, doesn't declare. If he had a bruised rib, you say, yeah, he had some bruised ribs, but he's obviously yep. got something, something there. So watch that play out. I think because I'll go plays. after him. Sydney will go after him. Well, well, why, why, don't, why don't we talk about the Swans? So we've spoken about Carlton, right? Um, obviously, we know we know Carlton's strengths are going to be their their clearance work and yep. their exits from stoppage and what they do. When they do leave that that stoppage going inside fifty, um, with those, those twin towers, uh, Charlie Kerno and and Harry Mackay, so the Sydney defence is gettable. They 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 don't play tall, right? They've got some defenders back, such as well they get they got McCartan back, which they didn't have Tom McCartan. They've had him for three weeks. Yeah, well, but they didn't have him for the majority of the year. They've got him back yeah. to the back end of the year, but he's he's had like he hasn't. He's not like he's yeah, been missing no, for but two I think weeks. A lot of the year they haven't played with the defense. So yeah. I think they've slowly getting their profile okay. back. So, so and I think Rampy. I know he's not a big, big tall. But Ram, he's, Rampy sags off. Yeah. So right, Ram, they, Rampy, got him back too. Rampy doesn't play tall, but with Rampy, you could he he, he, he he's going to play off his man. Yep. and he's going to try and run and jump. Yeah. Well, I'm saying they haven't had them for the core, the core of the year. Yeah, but they've got them in the back end. Okay. I'm more concerned Sydney's about... Sydney's midfield is concerning. Yes. Only by the numbers. So this is not... I'm yeah, not yeah, making yeah. that comment on okay, anything else. Daniel Hoyne. No, no, no. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, no. I'm, I'd am i say I am very interested in, and we, we've said this off air, mm. where Carlton doesn't know their best team. Yep. And obviously, they almost forced the hand. You said they were forced their hand with yep. their injuries. Now they've got everyone back. And in, it's going to be in the wet. We know we that. We should actually also sorry. We should also mention Matt Kennedy might throw his name up into selection. Selection. I personally don't think. I don't think he's he there yet. But he's 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 obviously as shown by the newspapers uh, on the weekend. He's in contact training. Yeah. So he's he's definitely there. Slow yeah. news week. Yeah. Slow news week. Yeah. Sorry. Continue. So do My you apologies. play? Do you bring in Pitanay and play TDK? Pitanay, Mackay, obviously Kuno's there. They they are four they're four bigs. So you're gonna play two rucks yep. plus Mackay, Kuno. So the question is gonna be is is and, and they and they, in the put, wet. they put it to Michael Voss on AFL three sixties. I mean, do does the weather, you know, come into calculation or, or is your selection contingent on the weather? Yeah. Um Carlton's very, very cagey at the best of times. So I, I I'm not sure you know, what what they're gonna do. If I was to have a guess, I, I'd say they bring Pittenet in. I, I think this that type of game, those conditions suit Pittenet. So you can't drop TDK. I'm not saying no. that. So I think they're going to play the two Ruckman. They're not going to drop Harry Mackay. So to, to answer your four. question, I think they do play all four. Yep. I do. Yep. It's going to be a gamble. Um, but You can't drop Mackay. They, it's, like, you, no. It, I must admit, Could though, you I was, drop Mackay and then you lose. You, oh, jeez. You, well, you, you no, 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 no. It's, it's not about that. It's, not, look, but it, it's none of this... Let's not get involved in it's it's just all semantics, you know. They play him or they don't play. It's, it's just semantics. The point is that 
last what well, two weeks ago against uh, Greater Western Sydney, M- Mackay looked out of touch. I saw him up in the Gold Coast. I thought he was satisfactory. I thought he looked like he needed the run. I can tell you now against GWS, he looked even worse. Mm. But he did. Harry's a player. He needs to get involved. I'm not. I'm. I, I have full confidence in Harry Mackay. He can get back to some of his best. I, I'm. I just think we need to integrate yeah, him into the game I, differently. I'm not worried about the GWS game. I look more into the. Gold Coast game. That was his first in. game back. Yeah, yeah. His no, first no. game back. I'm not talking about Mackay. I'm right. talking about in general the performance. Yep. I don't. Oh, I feel like you play better without him. Okay. I feel like you. That's perform- a big discussion point. Yeah. Which we don't have an hour, yeah, but I, no, I, I would don't. love to do it honestly. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I just, could sit here and talk. I, I agree I feel like with the you. The mix yeah. is better. Like when without you played him. Melbourne, you had TDK pinch hitting forward. Yep. Did Pitney play that game? Yes, he did. Played in the ruck. Pitney has to play. I tell you what. No, he does. What's Carlton's biggest asset? Their strength and 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 their, and, and their contest work. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, the so midfield in, in the midfield. Yeah, he's, right? he's a body. Peter Nave yeah. feeds the midfield. He he, does. He's a tap ruckman. He's going to give you more than Mackay is. And I think T. Yeah, for me, yeah. Uh, I think I think Tom DeConning. I think Tom DeConning and Mark Pitternet both play. Tom DeConning's name is not even up for discussion to be dropped. He's Tom DeConning plays every week now. Like he's he is the guy. The question is whether Mark Pitternet plays or not. If all four play, yep. I reckon you lose. Okay. I don't know why. No, no, that's fair enough. So just for some reason, I think it's going to be a wet game. It's going to be played. I think it only leaves you with. Where can the Swans get Carlton? Well, if they get territory. It's a a small forward. Yes. If their midfield needs to get on top. Uh, uh, Paul, let let me, let me, uh, allow me to enunciate ourselves correctly here. I know. They won't get on top. They need, they they would need to break even. Uh, Break they have even. to break yeah, even. Okay. Break they're, not, they're not going to oh, beat our midfield. If they, if they can not. win the territory yep. and play it in their half, that's when they they go to work. They've got Heaney, Papley, all those smalls yep. create that high-pressure game, create turnover. So Heaney in that game when uh, Carlton versed them on the Friday night when Carlton was struggling, yep. he, he, went, he went into the midfield. I don't yep. think they can afford to bring Heaney into the midfield. No, I, I think, think they need him Mills. up forward. They're going to play Mills. Okay, so because Cal- Callum Mills did not play in that C- game. Correct, yeah, correct. Okay. So Mills will play, they think, on Cripps. Yep. Which is cool because that that'll attract a lot of attention. Beautiful. Okay, so that's the way they're going to win. High, play the game in their half territory. Yep, and then create turnovers on Carlton's exit. Yep, and hit them out the back. Carlton are going to want to play. You know that stoppage. They're good. I think they're the number one stoppage team in the comp by mile. Yep. Yeah. And you know you'll beat him around. David the King raves on. It's just brutality. Yeah. It's just he raves on about it. But the, the, the number like it's. He's not making it up. Like, it's there to see. The numbers, correct. Yeah. There's a narrative with the numbers, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I ask our good friend, Pommy. And yeah, yeah. God bless you, Pommy. We love yeah, you, mate. Yeah, I hope you're watching. One of the best rants I've seen. So. <laughs> we love you, Pom. Um, That's where Sydney get on top. I just think if you play all four, yep. I, I just can't see how it works. Yeah. But it, it may work and you may win. Who knows? I, I have um, I have a lot of faith in Carlton's defence. I think it's what will keep him in the game. And... Equally to that, I'm I'm a bit concerned about Sydney's forward line. I, yep. I don't have a lot of faith in their tall forwards. I'm not worried about their full their tall forwards. My biggest concern as a Carlton supporter heading into this game is Sydney Smalls. Um, well, I think it's going to be a wet night. Yeah, That's and I, I agreed. Yeah, so if it becomes a territorial game, if they can get the ball to ground, I think Carlton's uh, defenders are going to have a challenge on their hands. I think they're up to it. Uh, Nick Nick Newman's answered every challenge put to him. This particular year, he's been outstanding. Sardi, I mean Adam, Adam Sard, you know, he's one of the knocks on him was he doesn't defend. I don't. That's that's bullshit. People don't op, People obviously don't know anything about football if they think Adam Sard cannot defend. And then we're gonna have you know if, whether they include uh, or whether they. Oh, he's the one we didn't discuss. So Alex Chincotta, mm. his form recently has been a little bit suspect. Um. It will be interesting to see if they keep him in. I think this game is tailor made for a player like Alex Chincotta. I th- I think they keep him and in. And if he goes out, who comes in? Oh, so who's actually coming in? I think the three non negotiables, as I said, are Sam Doherty, Cripps, Patrick Cripps, and Jesse Motlop. Jesse Motlop, one million percent, plays the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hundred percent. Right? Yep. So who comes out? That's probably going to be Caleb Marchbank comes out. Yep. I don't think that I think they'll, they'll stick with obviously M- M- McGovern. Caleb yep. Marchbank comes out. Um, I'm gonna say that Paddy Dow unfortunately gets relegated to the sub. The sub, yep. Uh Ed Kerno comes out. 
Yep. Oh, I shouldn't even know if Ed Kerno played last game. I'm not sure. I think he was a sub. No, he wasn't. Oh, he wasn't. Caleb Marchbank was a sub. Ah, oh, okay. Yep, sorry. Ed Kerno's retired, by the way. Thank you for your services, Ed. He's been good. Very good clubman. Um, yeah, look, the selection, is, I, I'm not sure whether the selection for this particular game is a good headache to have or a bad headache to have. In the, in the past, we've said, you know, with all these big play, all these big names yeah. and personalities coming back, it's a good problem to have. Yep. I just think this week, I hope they don't overthink it. I really hope they don't overthink it. Yeah. Well, that's what I was saying. We said this with the injuries, you've yep. been forced your hand, but it's worked. Yeah. And that mix has worked. And yep. then I know they're good play. Like there's good players. Yeah. And they're Team, stars. So so let's not discount that your Cheras and your Walshers are stars. Correct. Which they they will be better for the run. 100%. I thought I thought they needed the run against the the uh, Giants, and they yep. got that. They've got another week. Of, they've it. got another week of mileage in the, in the in, into their leg Correct. in horse racing terms. We'll say they've had a big blow. Correct. It's not what you're thinking about, but no. yeah, they, um, they've had a they very good run, very good run for them. Um, and yeah, so I think uh, I I think Michael Voss. I, and his coach and the, and selection and the match committee. I hope that I just hope that they don't overthink it. Yeah, and here well, we are as fans. We're, no, we're, no, we're, we're it. I'm just saying. Sometimes a a team on paper yep. isn't necessarily the team that wins. And just Carlton have a good team on paper. I know. But I think I think he's played really well. Without you played the one tall. And dynamic. It was more dynamic. Yep. There was yeah. I, Jack I just, Martin was involved. Jack Martin's going to be huge this final series. Don't yeah. uh, don't discount well, let's... don't discount the stuff that Jack Martin does, and it's not about what he does with the ball. You need to see how he operates without the ball. Yep. And as a Carlton fan, obviously going to these Carlton games, I see you can see it live. But Jack Martin's going to be huge. The way he defends that high half forward, yep. and and Paul Sebastian is massive on it. Yep. you know he showed me some clips of how Jack Martin and those high half forwards, your Jack Martin, your Matt Owies, your Jesse Motlops, your yep. Fogarty's. Uh, Durden is the one I think who who gets dropped. By the way, or is he gonna get dropped? Okay. Yeah, I think he does. I think he's. Yep. I think he's one, the one one of them that will miss, unfortunately. But the way that those high half forwards defend the transition that was non-existent against the Giants. Yeah, you could just see like the 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 defending and and as we spoke about earlier, the pressure on the opposition ball carrier was non-existent against the, against the um Giants. Yeah, the way that 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 high half forward line defends the transition from the defense of the opposition. That's going to be key because Sydney, we know, like to run. Your Jake Lloyds, your Nick Blakey. Oh, they, they, you know, they we, starve on a turnover. Like yeah. they, they're, they're almost like Collingwood turnover. Bang, Blakey's gone. They're, they're all gone. Yeah. Um, I'm actually really fascinated with this game. Yeah. So oh, can, can I before we can I can I get your tip? It can't be that hard. I'm going. S- Sydney. Okay. I think Carlton wins. I'm very certain Carlton win. I'm I'm, well, I'm confident. I mean, look, there's only so much. So I'm not as confident as what I – believe it or not, I mean, I've got more confidence in Collingwood. And Collingwood's a bigger I, price. I, yeah, I know. I know. I've just – there's just something Carlton about will be this winning. game where Carlton's favourite and outright favourite. Yep. First finals – I just yeah I don't know yeah, but I, don't, I think Carlton can some team, the sometimes teams over oh, look we're dealing most, with men we're not dealing with boys yeah, here. Yeah, these I guys know, are men I know, they're I know. men could, they're men I'm, I'm just, telling you they're men and they're built for this shit Paul I just reckon Crips is a bit now. battered I, I reckon Sydney I I'm gonna take Sydney you. yeah that's fine that's cool you're <laughs> just waiting for the day <laughs> hot, 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 hot. you're just waiting for the day no no look that I, Carlton fall. It's it's good it's good for AFL that Carlton is in the finals mm. and that they'll probably win. I they will probably win, but do you know when you've got just something? Well, only one team can win. Yeah, it's one no, out of two, mate. Oh, so I'm come saying, on, mate. Do you know when you look at a game and you go, you, you, mm, you aren't sure. This I've just got this funny feeling that Sydney, they're just that team that can come away with a win. Like they they went to Adelaide, they got the job done. Mm. They've been in good form too. How many have they won their last seven or eight? Haven't they? They lost to Melbourne, so no. Well, they're sorry, the last game they yep. lost to Melbourne. Okay. Anyway, let's I'm going move on. It should be good. It's going to be. A good game. The ba- be, you're no, going. Yeah. If I'm gonna, yep. No, I'm going with my dad and my brother and my mate. Beautiful. We're going to go feral. We're going spastic. Oh, oh, mate, we you don't need to tell me go. you're going to go feral. <laughs> <laughs> Something you already know. There's so. no point 95,000 rocking up. There's, there's no point rocking up. <laughs> Imagine there's going to be 90,000 Carlton, 80,000 Carlton's for feral. I'm actually going too. That are, game. are you really? Yeah, 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 I'm going. So You're not um, wearing, You're not going to be one of those idiots that's wearing a Collingwood jumper. Nah. They're tools that do. Don't wear other colors. You'll get jumped. 
Yeah, yeah you yeah, actually yeah, get yeah. jumped. Yeah, of course I'll get jumped. All right. Well, let's move on. Saturday. This is this is the game that, in my opinion, is the most intriguing. It's St. Kilda versus GWS. We'll pull it up on the screen. The odds this picture was taken yesterday. So you messaged me yesterday and said St. Kilda have drifted to two dollars ten, which they are. And GWS, as you can see there at Sports Better at dollar seventy five. This show isn't sponsored, by the way, so this is just off the AFL app. But mm. um look, let's just call a dollar seventy five and two dollars ten. GWS a favorite. St. Kilda outsiders. St. Kilda again not being respected. I, I well, can when understand I you yesterday. I'll you're you're before we head into the preview, you're just to cl- you're big on the Saints to win to win this oh, game. Oh no! So when I so when I no? mess- wait yeah I when I messaged you yesterday. Yep. Oh, when I'm like I want to see who the the favourites are to win mm. win the finals games. Right. I think the first two are very obvious. This one is not so obvious. When, I, I thought this is the hardest game. Yeah, to which is why I mentioned yeah. you this. Why are the Saints two dollars twenty? Because right. obviously you know you're the man with the info, and I just oh, no one gives respect to the Saints, and they just keep winning. They keep winning. Um, the Giants without Bedford is a big out if he doesn't play. So watch that. It, no, not if he's not. Oh, well, sorry, they might, they're going to appeal, gonna, it. appeal it. Yes, you're right. Sorry, this. I reckon the, they'll get you off. They'll this, get off. This is the And what a shit show it is, by the way. They've had to wait six days. Well, they've had to wait nine. They've Fisher, had to wait eight days Zach after Fisher the incident. Did not help his case. It did not well, help Bedford's case because when they called him, wow. he wrecked. I know you're saying he didn't help his case by. Well, he help, dropped like a sack uh, of potatoes. He didn't. He, yeah, nothing. I mean, you, Paul, when you get hit like that, you you, you feel me, it. Mate, and guy's seventy kilos. Zach Fisher's sixty-five kilos. Give me a. Anyway. I think it is a bit of a disgrace that they've had to do this hearing nine days after. And the reasoning that I heard. They could have done this last week. I heard Sam Edmund on the radio yesterday on Sports Day at about 6 p.m. last night saying how Giants tried to have it last Wednesday. Obviously, they couldn't because of AFL awards. Okay, guys, let's try and do it Thursday. No one from the AFL available. Okay, what about Friday? No one from the AFL available. And then it's like, oh, you're going to have to wait till Monday. Like, that's a fucking joke. Yeah, it is. That's oh, just I agree. Ridic- that is so disrespectful. I that, agree. That's a fucking slap in the face. That's bullshit. It's, this, is a, this is a part-time, this is a global, co- a, a national, sorry, not a global, a national competition. We're heading into the one of the most important times of the yep. AFL season yep. and no one's available to hear a fucking tribunal yep. hearing. It's more so What the, is going on? For, for Bedford too. It's disrespectful. It's, it, Paul, it's pure disrespect. Oh, I agree. And as I the, can't p- believe it. As the player- You've 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 left him in the loop for a week. What about now. the team? GWS the team. don't want the distractions, mate. They've got a, they've got a final to prepare for. They've got to travel again to the MCG, which Ooh, I mean, Saint yeah. Kilda. I'm I'm going to say he gets off if they oh, appeal. I'm going to say he gets. I think off. he gets off. I don't know if they will. We, we'll we'll find out by midday today. We're obviously recording this prior to midday. Do so they? We, win? we don't know yet. Do they win the the hearing? The, no, no, the Giants. Do they win? Because Paul, I, I'm 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 head fucked about this. I I I I have no clue. I, I'm I'm not entirely sure. The the thing is, right? Max King comes back. Okay, Max King comes back into the team for St Kilda. Sam Taylor is fifty fifty. I'm gonna go on the side and say Sam Taylor plays. Mm-hmm. Right, but here's the thing, which we also didn't mention with Tom Papley in the previous half. So Tom Papley was laid out in round twenty four. Yeah. Right, Sam Taylor. So Tom Papley got named, and likewise for Sam. Sam Taylor in round twenty four got named. They didn't play. Now their fitness tests, even with the week off, to play. So what? What is going on here? Well, what do you name him? I, 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 <laughs> mate, we have this discussion all the time. The, the honesty and the transparency from uh, certain football not clubs. Not just because I'll go for Colin. Colin they're, was the best in the game. The I know. They, I know they McCray are. declares I know they him are. the week two, uh, five days before the game. He'll say he's not playing. Yeah. Okay. So, if you're good enough, you'll win. So if, Sam, if Sam Taylor plays, he goes straight to Max King. If he doesn't, mm. Jack Buckley gets the job on Max King. Max King is the key here. He needs to kick three. He needs to kick three or four. Yeah, I, I agree. Ma- Max King, I'm, no no pressure on the King, but the, Max King is the key to this game. Saints win. He is. Saints win. They they ran Brisbane to the line the week before. Yeah. So my thing with St. Kilda is St. Kilda, St. Kilda will stifle all opposition. That's what St. Kilda do. St. Kilda will make sure that your life is as difficult as it can be. Um, their defense is obviously one of, if not, I have to, fa- for, sorry for all my fact checkers out here. I'm not sure if they are the best defense. If they're not the best defense, they're in the top three defenses in the comp, right? So they make it hard for opposition to score. The thing is, right, the thing, the issue I have here with St. Kilda is I just think 
the uh, GWS Giants running prowess is going to be too strong here. Mm. I think, um, and and it's funny because St Kilda on paper are a good running side. The numbers will tell you that they spread one of as one of the better teams. GWS's run and carry is huge. They play obviously a high intensity, a high octane game. And having seen them firsthand last week, yes, that game against Carlton that they needed to win in the opposition probably didn't need to win. Yep. And Carlton's effort may have been ten percent off. But I think I think you could have put anyone else up against GWS last week, and they would have beaten anyone else in the comp. It could have been, mate. They could have had Collingwood there. They would have beaten Collingwood. The way that they ran and they sprint and carried, and a lot of it is a lot of it is ignited from Stephen uh, Cogs, Canelio. Mm. He played good. Stephen Canelio, seeing good. him firsthand last week, two weeks ago. Sorry, he is the igniter. Now I know, I know a lot of people. Really I know a lot of people will say Toby Green is the guy. Toby Green is the guy. Toby Green's the heart and soul. But I think the run, the run and carry from Stephen Canelio, Toby Bedford for that, you know, Brent Daniels. Right, Lockie Whitfield, these guys, the, the what they yeah. generate in their transition game. And Bedford too. And Toby Bedford as well. Is Bedford huge. and Daniel are those two half forwards that- They're high half forwards that- that, that get up the ground and get speed out the back. They play 50 to 50 metre mark. The yep. arc. They, they play within the arcs, right? And yeah, I, I, I'm, I've, I, have a, I have a suspicion here that Giants- Running power will be a bit too strong. I, I, I'm being honest though. I'm not. I'm. I'm not as convinced as the other two games. I'm very certain. What? I'm very certain Collingwood win. I'm very certain Carlton win. I, as I've mentioned to you previously off air, Paul. I have. I, I. I. I can't make a declaration here. I don't have the balls to do it. Every I time don't. I go against the Saints, they win. So you scarred. No, I'm not scarred. Uh, leave me I'm with a No, 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 no. You know Missy Higgins? No. Would you leave me I, with a scar? I feel like the the Saints have not received any respect this year. I don't entirely agree with that. I agree partially, but not entirely. All right, I'll put it this way to you. Who, who wins the game, mate? Who, who finishes six and doesn't start the favourite against seventh? In the finals, yeah, I mean, it's it doesn't happen often, but it's not a bad ladder position. It's, it's well, it so, does. the margins are so fine, Paul. Oh, well, I suppose you're right. I'm looking they're at they're the on the same now. points, mate. Yeah, I know, but it's in Melbourne, mate. They're point seven from having that game played in played in yeah, fucking yeah, Sydney. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, come one on, goal mate. away. Come on, mate. you're right. So tell me something. Did GW, if GW, if GWS finished sixth, that'd be dollar forty. Yeah, I mean, well, well, there 100%. you go. I think I think Saints win. I, I think at home. They, they'll be showing some respect after they win. 65,000 tickets they reckon they've sold for that game. That's an incredible effort for a club like St. Kilda. It, it's a pretty good effort. That's a good effort. Yeah. Consume this. Probably I'm, only going to be like 5,000. I'm, I'm 5, glad you said that because I was going to say they should have had it at Marvel. But no. It but only takes 50,000. 50, yeah, 52,000. So good 000. on them. They got 65,000. Good on the Saints fans. a decent crowd. I agree. I hope they actually all turn out because. And there'd be about 5,000 Giants fans. Roughly about that. And so, there'd be some mutual supporters. Well, I I, I was going to buy. T I. I was looking at that game. Might have War Cup available. Huh? Might have War Cup available. AFL members. Oh, that's... <laughs> Just scan in and walk <laughs> in, son. Sit yourself at M20. Is there a game, there a game on today? <laughs> no, you shouldn't say that. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm tipping GWS and it's not convincing. I'm not. It's not. I, I just. I, I just think their running game is going to be a bit too strong for St. Kilda. I know. Yeah. I, I respect St. Kilda's defensive game and their defensive structure. I just reckon GWS's mids are a bit too strong. Like yep. St. Kilda's got Jack Steele and Seb Ross. And who? Hunt, Hunter Clark? Yeah, their midfield like, is. Come on. Their midfield's their midfield is big. Yeah. They're, they're more of a system based team. They're, I agree. They're, they're more of a system based team. Um, why, don't we, why don't we also mention this? If Jack Sinclair gets rectified, if Jack Sinclair is negated, and if Brad Hill are negated, GWS will win the game. I know Max King's important, but I think those other two are even yep. more important because right. without the other two, Max King doesn't see the day of light. Mm. The, yeah. the light of day, sorry. It's, it's going to be a close game. I, I think that's massive. So your team, Saints. I'm going Saints. We've I'm, not, agreed on I'm not surrendering with the Giants. No surrender. You're going Giants. We've only yeah. agreed on one game at the moment. No, we don't have to agree. Who gives a shit? Um. Last game of the first week of finals, which is the second qualifying final. Brisbane Lions second versus Jeez. Port Adelaide third. A dollar forty six. The Lions at the Gabba two seventy two. Port Adelaide. All the Thoughts? media, all the media is about Brisbane. Mm -hmm. 
home final in the box seat to make a granny. I just think a lot of the media has been all about Brisbane, 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 Brisbane winning, Brisbane box seat. But I think Port have been good the last four or five weeks. They have. I'm mean, I mean, honest. They have. They're going to get their troops back too. Since that loss to, since you guys knocked them off by a couple of points. Yep. I, I reckon they've been slowly integrating or, as you said, finding their best mix. Yep. 100%. Please don't tell me you think Charlie, Charlie Dixon's on one leg still. He's not playing. No, he's not playing. He won't play. He's not playing, but they're going to get Lysette, Lysette yep. Marshall, which I think he played. Marshall, Marshall play. Marshall's, yeah, he's... Um, they're going to get McKenzie back. McKenzie back massive for their structure. Yep. So they're going to get a, a, a lot of players. But no one's concerned? talking about Port. I just think it's going to be closer than maybe what we're giving yep. the lot. Like everyone's just saying the Lions are going to win. Are you like, concerned that Brisbane's forward line, which is probably the strongest in the comp, let's be real, is going to be a bit too much for a fragile Port Adelaide defense? Possibly. Because I, I, I believe it will. Possibly. The way I, Paul I, win this I, game I think is that's what's gonna win happen. the midfield and clearance battle and play the game in their half. Yeah. And you almost and sort exit of, from stoppage with your roses yeah. and your butters. And you just starve them from getting that that first use, their forwards, uh, Brisbane's forwards' first use of the footy. Right. Um, which they can do. They've got Rosie, butters, you know, wines. They've got some good clearance players. I, I still think Brisbane will win, but I just think, I think no one's giving credit to Port is all I'm saying. I don't entirely agree. No? You can't say Brisbane's been that crash hot at home. No, the last no, no, month. no, they haven't. But we all know that finals is a different ball game. I, I just think where the game's going to be won or lost, you, you're suggesting it's going to be in the middle, which I, I don't disagree with. I just think Brisbane's forward line is going to overrule their defense, Port Adelaide's, Port Adelaide's backs. I don't have faith in Port Adelaide's defense up against this forward line. It's the most dynamic, it's, it's the most lethal forward line in the comp. Brisbane's Brisbane. forward line. Ridiculous! They can fire. They they fire. Yeah, they fire shots agree. from everywhere. They're good on all cylinders. They're good. Their tolls are good. Their smalls are good. Their mid sizes are good. You just I I, oh. I, I, I can't see how Port's going to win the game. I, I can. I'm not disrespecting Port Adelaide or, or disregarding him in the game. I just don't see unless Brisbane's forward. If they can negate Brisbane's forward line, they they um Port Adelaide will win the game. I don't. I just don't think Brisbane's form at home this year. Mm -hmm. Which is funny because I haven't lost. They haven't lost a game, but I've watched their last three games at home, and they've they been got the job done. Yeah, but they were lucky. Sure, I know they the Adelaide lucky. game. Adelaide put it to them. Adelaide yes, put Saint it to Kilda them. put it to them. Yes, I know that. I just their last month, they beat Geelong by eleven. Geelong forms out the window. Yep. So is yeah, that goal, to, so is that Gold Coast well, game? They lost out the by forty one to the Gold Coast. They yep. beat Freo by three. They beat Adelaide by six somehow, mm. right? And they played Collingwood in, back in Melbourne. They won by four. And then against the Saints, they won by two goals. They didn't kick straight, so they probably should have won by more in the end. But mm. I just – They haven't kicked they've straight a, a lot of – yeah. oh, They've been a strong team at home, Brisbane. Like, they've yeah. been winning – Well, they haven't lost. Like, that Adelaide game last year, they would have won by six goals. Yeah. And the Adelaide game that they lost at Adelaide over, where they kicked eight nine behinds in yep. the third quarter. Yep. And Adelaide beat them. They probably yeah. should have won that too. I mean, yeah. I mean look, it's yeah, I it's irrelevant suppose. now. But I suppose. So I think you're not close. I think Brisbane win, but I think Port will. I would not be surprised if Port won. No, no, I don't. I don't think any of us would. Yeah, I, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm. Okay, let me ask no, you. Talking about Port, that's all. Let me ask you a question. Are you concerned about Port Adelaide's defence against this Brisbane forward line? Are, are you worried? Because <laughs> fuck, it looks like it's on one percent, man. Yeah, they're yeah, going to be doing it hard. I know what you're saying. A lot think, of defenses obviously have struggled against this Port, forward line. Port can get on top in the midfield, yeah, and say, "All right, let's play the game Name now." How we want to play it? Okay. That's right. And then, you know, exit your D50, work through our whole team defense, rather than if if they get if they lose a center clearance battle, well, Brisbane probably going to win, aren't they? Like I think say, Brisbane have. I think Brisbane. Ones. I think Brisbane can control the game and have it on their terms for the majority of the game. Yep. And based on that, I think Brisbane will win. Yeah, I think Brisbane. And, I know, wins. and, and obviously, it's not going to be a walk in the park. No, it's not going to be a walk in the park. I'm going to go like I'm, I'm not putting a. You know, I don't want to put a margin, but Brisbane. If I had to make one up, two and a half goals, fifteen yeah, points. Yeah, that's reasonable. That's fair. Yeah. 15, I think that's it's finals footy, yeah. Like we, yep. we can't be second v third. We can't be expecting these games to be blowouts. No, no, that's that's right. It's very unlikely. Hopefully, it's a good game. Yeah, hopefully, it's a good and game. And you're 
Brisbane. Oh yeah, I think Brisbane. No, will. Do you yeah, want to confirm think, for the for the no, for the I think viewers. Brisbane will win. I'm just yeah. a lot of the media which we all watch. Yeah, nothing's been about. You Paul. might watch. Well, yes, correct. I may watch. I'm sure you watch. I watch like an hour of TV oh, a week. And have you heard anything about Port? They've just gone flying under the radar down in Adelaide. Yeah, it's Victorian media though. Well, that's right. Mate, well, change, change your channel to 5AA and tell me how much you fucking hear about Brisbane, well, which is an Adelaide radio station. Yeah, I, I get that. Nah, yeah, I, I, know, get I know what you mean. They're just, nothing's they really all seem been... to be, the narrative seems to be pushing people into the into the Brisbane Lions train. Right, Brisbane, yeah. Brisbane, Brisbane, yeah, Brisbane. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's, that's fair, yeah. Okay. So, interesting game. What are your four, if you could put these games in order, yep. What are you? which game are you looking most forward to, to least most forward to? Okay, so in terms of... If you, well, obviously, being a Carlton supporter, you, I mean, well, yep. are you asking it if I'm a neutral? What? Anything, man. As an analyst? Which games are you looking The GWS and St. Kilda game. That's your you're looking forward to the most, yep? No, no, no. Oh, or it's intrigues you the allow most. Allow me to make myself clear. The Carlton and Sydney game is the one I'm most interested in. Yeah. Well, but if I, was, if I was just an analyst and not following and didn't give a shit, yep. from a pure battle, I yep. think St. Kilda and GWS. Okay. The Collingwood game, I'm not even going to watch. <laughs> I'm not watching the Collingwood game. It's cold, mate. Ma- you know how I told you, mate? Ma- Melbourne fans are rocking oh. up. Paul, Melbourne fans are rocking up to that game. Do a U turn. Turn around. Don't go. Don't go. Col- mate, uh, I, you call this the Moz. It is the Paul, Moz. Paul, do you trust me? No, no, just answer. Do you, Paul. Mr. Paul Taliano. I've trusted you before, mate. <laughs> do you trust me? Because if you do, understand this. Trust me when I tell you, Collingwood will not be losing the game on Friday night. I don't think so. Lose too. To answer your question, I'm not even going to watch the Collingwood Melbourne game. And I hope that doesn't come across as arrogant. I'm just not going to watch it. Okay. I got, I got other things to I do. I can guarantee you'll be watching that game. I mean, I'll only be watching if you're on TV. Well, you'll, um, you'll, that's why you'll be watching. And it. then honestly, look, the Brisbane and Port Adelaide game. I, I mean. Yeah, it's Saturday night. Yeah, look, I'm fucking if Premier League's on or something. No, I'm joking. Nah, look, I'm, I'm not it's sure. Really start. What time is it? Twenty five past seven. Twenty five. Yeah, okay. So yeah. It'll, it'll, it's pretty much so straight it, on look, after the, the good thing Saints is on, the good thing is on Saturday night is the uh, draw will look clearer, so we'll know who's playing when and what day. Um, I suspect that the loser of the Collingwood Melbourne game will play on the following Friday night. Mm. Yeah. I think that that semi final number one will be on the Friday. And the loser of the Brisbane and Port Adelaide game will be playing on the Saturday. Yep. That's what I reckon. Could be but yeah. Carlton Collingwood. So can, just before we just before we leave and we say goodbye to everyone, uh, Collingwood v Melbourne, Paul. Collingwood. Collingwood. Max Units Pies. Uh, Carlton v Sydney, Paul. Sydney. Carlton. St. Kilda versus GWS. Saint, Saints. GWS. And both lines, I think. Brisbane v Port. Brisbane, Paul. Brisbane, yep. Brisbane here. Beautiful. Whoa. We'll have a lot to talk about next week. We've got a lot to talk about next week. Well, there's only going to be two games. so We could be sitting here next week. Carlton saying, Collingwood. Carlton Collingwood. Well, yeah. I mean, and that is, that's not going to happen. That's, geez, we'll just dedicate the whole show to that. i tell you what it will be, though. It'll be Carlton Collingwood on another day. Grand final day, you yeah. think? Well, if, if it happens grand final day... That means what Carlton are you has to go how, the long road. How are you going to, uh, if a potential or possible scenario does occur, how are you going to cope with a Carlton and Collingwood grand final week? Uh, because my next, question, my next question is going to be is how are you going to cope when you lose that grand final? I go all the way up to the North Queensland. I hire a tinny boat that's got no reception and I Ro- fish. <laughs> yeah, and I fish. <laughs> for, this I fish for 10 days, mate. <laughs> Right, and I throw my phone in the water with the Crocs. <laughs> no, well, look, thanks for joining me, Paul. Um, we'll do it all over again next week. Big thank you to the viewers. Um, like, Let's share, go. subscribe. Enjoy finals. September's here. Um, may your team go well and long and deep. And, uh, yeah, enjoy.